that's coursing through that wire right there. And uh, attached to the wire is a pole, and at the end of the pole is a wheel. Does anybody know what that wheel is called? Well, the, no, whole, no. the whole thing's a trolley pole. I don't know about the wheel. Well, the wheel is called the trolley. Isn't oh, that okay. Whole thing, isn't that whole thing called a trolley? No. No. That's a different kind of train. That's a different kind of train. Yeah. That's a different kind of train. That's a different kind of train, yes. When you're going the opposite direction, do you have to turn that around the other way? I do. And the reason for that is because uh, when I come to a junction like I did at 6, if I'm pushing it, the pole doesn't know which way I want to go. But if it follows me, if we'd been turning right, it would just follow the trolley right around the corner. Um, now that stays on the wire because the pole is spring tensioned up to stay attached to the wire. And uh, this metal thing at the end here is called a retriever. So what happens is if the pole somehow goes off the wire, that retriever, since it's that sudden upward motion, pulls the pole back down so I don't go tootling down the track and I wreck the overhead wire because if um, if I do um, I'm not even sure AAA could come and help me even though I'm a member you know I call them up and say hey uh, AAA my vehicle just died I need a tow <laughs> <laughs> I'd do it work. so we need to switch the pole around so to do that I'll just take a little bit of slack now if we we're running the the newer car it has two poles up with one, down with the other. So this comes off, and the air compressor goes off, as well as uh, just disconnected it. Now, you want to feel how much pressure the spring is on the pole? Grab the rope. It's a catapult. Well, yeah, you better watch out because it'll, it'll throw you over the trolley. Okay, Connor, let go. <laughs> yeah. Was it pulling a lot? Yeah, yeah. that's okay. You don't want to get thrown over the trolley. No, I think you want to try. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. We probably shop at the oh, same yeah. store. Oh wow. Yeah, see how yeah. spring loaded that is. Oh yeah, wow. Yeah. So did they ever have to replace that? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, we got. Oh, do you want to feel? Touch. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Is that, crazy? is that pulling you up? Is that gonna pull you? Good thing your mommy's holding on, huh? <laughs> okay, now let go. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. No, I already, I already did it. Yeah. So we just go to the other end here. let everybody do it. What are you doing over here? much easier in the afternoon because the sun's back there. Put it on and latch it in and then tie it and make sure the rope doesn't has a little bit of slack so the pole can go from side to side. So it's not that exciting. Does it ever jump off of that? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's why the retriever's there. It pulls the pole back down so I don't break the overhead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now last year we couldn't come over here. Uh, uh, we had to stop on the other side of 11th there. And the reason being is that first pole on the left there that you see, uh, somebody tried climbing it and we think they were trying to steal our wire, mm -hmm. but the pole broke. And then when they put the wire up, they put the wire too far to the north of the uh, track. Huh. So when we last year when we were testing it before the season, we, we got some momentum going, we got across 11th, but the pole couldn't stay you know, on its own on the wire. So now we have the trolley over here on this side, had to get it back to the other side. So the solution was, as portly as I am, I basically pulled out all the rope I had in the retriever, and then I stood underneath the wire. I had enough, you know, with the rope to basically hold the pole up to the wire. And then as they zoomed across South 11th, I was running behind the trolley, keeping the pole up on the wire. Which uh, 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 I'm 
glad, well, sometimes I go back and forth on this. I'm glad there were no dash cams on uh -huh. any of the cars coming down 11th, but then again, uh -huh. maybe it would have been good, it would have been funny. I could have won $100,000 on some TV show or something. So if you want to go back on board, now that you know